Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be Anne Margaret segment number two. And in this one, this is going to be chock full of her continued success and recuperation from her terrible accident. And so she went on with her career. By now, by the way, she had been nominated for numerous Academy Awards because she was in a film called Carnal Knowledge with Jack Nicholson. She was in uh, numerous films and uh, tremendous success. And by the way, she had signed a, a recording contract with RCA Music. She had signed a contract <laughs> with 20th Century Fox Films she, for a 10-year contract. And a lot of this was done by George Burns, by the way. He's a really charming uh, guy. And so who you, I'm sure you all remember. Okay, so now bringing it back to Anne Margaret's career. Now, um, we owe a great deal to Roger Smith, by the way. She, Anne Margaret may not even be here if it weren't for Roger. And so um, now this is after the accident. Now, I was in privy, so to speak, and knew a lot about this, the, her recuperation or surgery. They had to operate on her inside her mouth and now this was, time was really important because she had this contract for, to be in Las Vegas uh, for big performances. She had movie contracts. She had all these things going. And so the surgeon went in and patched her up inside her mouth. And there's a lot of other details I won't get into. But Anne Margaret made a miraculous healing. I think it was so groovy that this happened to her. And so um, this is a shot, one of the first shots I did of Anne Margaret after the accident. In the accident, really, she fell on this side of her face, on her left side. So you can see a little extra highlight that was placed deftly there by George Masters. Uh, was her uh, makeup artist who was really good. George is not with us anymore, but George is really an excellent makeup uh, man. And so he, he gave her that Anne Margaret look. So now almost immediately, I was called on to do sessions for with Anne Margaret, even though she'd just gotten almost right out of the hospital because she had to go on with her Vegas performances as well as her movie performances. Okay, so these are um, shots now from that are typical and Margaret Vegas. They use these for lobby displays and posters and, and all sorts of uh, good advertising for Anne Margaret. And so we got, just got a real charge out of working with her. This is a departure from what we were doing in the 70s. This was done in the early 80s. Uh, and so she was really good at tr turning it on for the camera, as you can see. And she just really was just exploding with energy. And so I, uh, that was one really good shot. Here's others. These are more Bob Mackey clothes that she, Bob designed for her Las Vegas act. And she just loved to work with these chiffon and all that. And I, this is one of my favorite shots. And Bob was, by the way, on the shooting sessions on a lot of these. These were done on my studio on Beverly Boulevard now that we had graduated to a larger studio. I had a big staff now. And so uh, these her and Margaret sessions would last maybe a couple of hours because she was really good at nailing it, at, uh, and we didn't have to kind of you know coax her and make her feel good and get her to smile because she had it all built in. And um, what we did was uh, this is the same that same shot, but uh, as I explained it to you, this is we thought. Um, I think Wayne Massarelli did her makeup and uh, the hairdresser decided to put that scarf around her head, head which is quite a, quite a dramatic touch. And then here's another one, Anne Margaret. This is a, a real good, Vegas kind of a poster shot, her advertising. 
and she was, look at her expressions. Were, you know, remember, she had just gotten out of the hospital and she uh, still went on performing. And so <clears throat> I was quite proud of her. And Margaret also, part of uh, what she likes to do on her days off, she would had a thing for motorcycles. And so this is one of her favorite motorcycles that uh, they brought in and they assembled it on the stage in my studio and then Margaret got up on it. It was a pretty catchy kind of a shot, you know? And so uh, there's um, here's another one with her, what we thought would be kind of fun with her, with this big old bike. And uh, they say that they used to, people used to see her traveling around Beverly Hills riding on this motorcycle, and she just blow the truckers away when they looked down and see it was Anne Margaret. And she had this beautiful ring, by the way, that she always wore. It was just a huge diamond. You can get a good glimpse of it here on this shot with Roger. There's another charming shot with, with Roger. She's, they were very much in love. And then um, Roger wasn't feeling really great, but you'd never know it because he's so darn handsome. <laughs> they made a wonderful, handsome couple. And so again, like I said, these are shots that were, this is prior to digital photography coming on the scene. These are all shot on film. By the way, these photographs are available on a site called Getty Images. Getty Images has my collection of thousands of photographs. If you ever want to purchase one for your collection, this, uh, look up Getty Images Langdon and you'll see all these. And so this is another one. This was, I remember when I had to go to Vegas to, to do some photographs on I drove down the strip and this picture was a giant billboard of her uh, that was advertising her show. And so another, again, another Bob Mackie dress. I was quite proud of this shot. And so the, I just love shooting these close-ups. Remember, this is post-accident and you'd never know that anything had happened to Anne Margaret's face because she just was really good at zapping the camera with tons of energy. And so this is again one of my favorite close-ups of her. And so then her publicist kind of twisted my arm and said, why don't you do a, the sort of a semi-nude of Anne Margaret? And she was really cool and confident about it, so confident. When a woman does a shot like this, that they're real confident in themselves and not being a big tease, it really works. So anyway, this is again another one of my favorites. I used to love photographing people in black and white. It's so graphic and powerful. And a, a person like Anne Margaret can really pull off black and white pictures. And so the, gra the graphically, it's really stunning. And so we're going to go on now to uh, one more nice close up here of Anne Margaret. Now you see this ring. Uh, don't want to get into the details, but by now Anne Margaret was a multi millionaire, partly because of, you know, the accident and different proceedings that transpired. And so this is a ring she used to wear when she was riding her motorcycle. It's, I don't know how many carats it is, but it's, it's a huge rock. Well, that's Anne Margaret and her stunning, confident self. And so I've always loved photographing her and I wish they were all like her, but anyway, there's only one Anne Margaret, and so she's now she's gotten many Emmys, Emmy Awards, and you know, album covers, and she's been very successful. In the meantime, though, Roger Smith passed away in, um, a couple of years ago in um, 2073, 73 which is really sad, and um, Anne Margaret and Roger had three kids that were her stepchildren, and so Anne Margaret is, besides being this extremely successful actress, she's also become a stepmom, and so I'm real proud of her. But anyway, so that's a good segment of some of my sessions I've done with her. This is one of my favorite shots of 
myself with Anne Margaret, and these are posters from a lot of her uh, stage plays, Bye Bye Birdie movie, and a lot of the other ones. And this is one of my favorite shots of us together. So uh, please, if you can, send me uh, your comments and any questions that you may have. Um, yeah, and I will try to respond to you. And also, um, so try to subscribe to my channel because, you know, I really get a kick out of hear, hearing from you. And I soon will bring you more stories about celebrities and their successes and fames and the fun that I've had with them. And I will try to get back to you, okay? Okay, love you guys. Thank you very much for tuning in again. Okay, bye.